everyone. My name is Amanda. I'm an independent Jamberry Nails consultant, and I've had a lot of customers ask me to do jams work on acrylics or artificial nails or gels or whatever you have, and the answer is yes. I currently have on over it. This is from our spring um, holiday collection, and then this is the gold sparkle that is currently in our catalog, and so it's kind of like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow type effect because it's March. Um, I got this idea from another consultant. So um, those are, this is the manicure that I'm doing now. And I'm going to show you how I personally put on my, my jams on my acrylics, okay? So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need some type of heating device, whether it's the Jamberry mini heater or the, uh, a blow dryer. That works fine too. Um, you're going to need, if you want to, you can do this step. You're going to need some type of buffing block. Um, I don't do this but I know some people like to. And then you're going to need some type of cuticle pusher to apply pressure to um, the jams in certain areas. This thing's awesome and it's also really good about pushing back your cuticles. You're gonna need an orange stick, some type of file, whether it's the Jamberry file. Um, there's also, this is one that's kind of worn down. I like to use a worn down one with my acrylics because it takes less of the actual acrylic off. So I like this one's kind of worn out, so that's why I'm going to use this one. Or you can purchase a Jamberry, not a Jamberry, sorry, an Ulta um, glass file. I bought this from there. I can't remember how much it cost, but it, it's really nice at, you know, doing its job and just taking off, like, a really small amount of nail up here. Okay, then you're going to need some type of scissors. These are flat and these are curved. I'm using these to cut my wrap in half and these to cut any excess off that I need to. Okay, then of course you're going to need your jams. Here are my, is my gold sparkle and this is the over it, which is really pretty. As you can see, I've already used ha uh, half of my wraps on each and I actually have already done this nail so that I can show you how, to, how I file it off, but I'm going to show you how I got to this step, okay? So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to wash your hands really well with Dawn soap. Make sure there's no oils, no nothing on your nails. Um, Dawn soap is really good at cutting back on the oil, the grease, anything like that. And it's really good about getting dirt off. And then next you're going to, if you want to, you're going to buff, block your nails. I don't do this. I find my, my jams stick just fine without doing this step, So, but I wanted to mention it just in case you wanted to. Um, then you're going to take some alcohol, and I'm just going to can open it, going to clean my nail really well with the alcohol. This is going to get any of that excess buffing stuff off, um, any excess junk, so you're going to clean that really well. Okay, let it dry a little bit. <clears throat> um, then you're going to want to take your wraps, and you're going to want to size which wrap fits which finger. Now I already know that this wrap is going to be my middle finger so what I like to do and I've already cut this in half um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my orange stick and I am just simply going to lift up my wrap right here where it's cut off so it's on my stick like this okay and I'm now I'm going to kind of tilt this down so you can kind of see and then I'm going to put this in front of my Jamberry heater once it gets warm. And you're going to notice that it's going to start to curl. Sometimes it does. You're going to wait until it gets really flexible and easily to move. And I'm just going to stick it on my nail, avoiding any of the cuticle area. Now, I did forget to push to explain to you to push back your cuticles. I am sorry. I always forget that step because I just do it at the very beginning. Um, so... Before you start buffing, everything's flying. Before you buff, you're going to want to push back all your cuticles. Make sure that there's none on the actual artificial nail itself. Um, so that way when you put your wraps on, you're not setting your wrap on the cuticle because it will not stick to the cuticle. So what I did was I went ahead and I put my wrap on, and it's not on my cuticle. And then I just like to push down in the center. Just get it really snug on the center. And then what I like to do is I like to pull to the side. And then I like to pull to the other side. Like this. 
And then I like to take my cuticle pusher and really get a good solid feel on it. Like so. Sorry, keep missing the camera. And then I am going to take a little baggie. I forgot to mention the baggie. Take a little baggie and then just wrap my finger in the baggie. I wrap it around my finger like this and then I pull this part like this. Okay? And then I just make sure that it's really snug and that there's no bumps here. And then I stick my finger in front of the heating device in the baggie because the baggie is going to make it hotter in there. So when you pull it out, it's still hot and then you can kind of mess with it still too. Heat it a little bit more. And then I'm going to let go of the bag and slowly peel it off like this. Okay? And then now you have it on there. You can even go back through and push it down even further. Okay? So it's on there. So now I'm going to show you with this finger how I, how I file it off. Turn off this heater because it's getting really hot. <clears throat> Give me a little bit more room. So, like I said, um, you can use the really um, coarse Jamberry uh, file or any file that you have, but I find that this gets a little rough on my acrylics. So what I'm actually going to use is I'm going to use, this is a, another file that I have, and it's kind of really worn out, um, but it still does the job. So you're going to want to wait until your nails are cool to do this because you don't want to mess up the, the tips of them. So now most people, they're going to file at a 90 degree angle. Let me kind of pull this up. So they're going to want to file at like a 90 degree angle. But what I have found that when I'm wearing my acrylics, when you're going to go to pick things up, I find myself, my wrap getting caught on a lot of things. So what I have found that I like to do is I actually like to file it kind of at a 45 degree angle. So it takes off a very thin sliver of the actual wrap from the top of the nail. So I'm not catching it on everything. But as you can see, you can't really see it. I mean, it's there. You can see it. But the customers and the other people, they're not going to see that. That what they're going to see is they're going to see, oh, you got some beautiful nails. But if it's all jagged and messed up and lifting up, they're really going to see that. And you don't you don't want them to see that. So I like to file not at a 90, at like a 45. And I just light strokes. And then you're, you want to pick your, your, um, your file up every time you do it. Okay? You don't want to go like this or go like this because that's going to mess up your wrap. So... File at like a 45 degree angle. Just making sure to do it nice and easy and kind of watching what you're doing. Because I have done it to where I was talking and then I looked away and then I came back and I really took a nice gouge out of my wrap. Because I just wasn't paying attention. So. All right, so I filed it, and then now you can see this little piece. Oop, it just fell off. And I'm just going to go back through and then just make sure that I got all of the wrap and that I can see a very slight sliver of my wrap. Okay? And then it's going to look like that. And it's going to last, geez, my last ones that I just took off, was like a week and a half, two weeks, and I didn't even have to take them off. I just needed to because I have a vendor event coming up, and it's the month of March, and I wanted some pots of gold. So if you have any questions or any concerns or we need to troubleshoot because you've had issues with your jams on acrylics in the past, please let me know. Um, we can try to get together. I can message you. We can chat on the phone, try to figure it out for you. Um, it's not really that much harder it's really simple it's just um just knowing what to do and you might have a few um wraps that you might mess up on i suggest practicing with some samples and um that way you're not using your your wraps that you purchased okay so if you have any questions let me know and i'm here to help you out all right thanks